right, we are going to continue with our big idea of describing patterns in tables and graphs can help us to solve problems and describe the world. Our concept today is demonstrating an understanding that expressions can be used to express a pattern rule. So, so far we've seen pictures, we've seen tables. Um, today we're going to move on to expressions. So the example that we're going to use um, to start with is a drawn pattern. As you can see here, we have figure one, which has two dots in its pattern. Figure two has three dots. Uh, figure three has four dots. Figure four has five dots. And figure six has six dots. Now, here is a table showing that very same pattern. Uh, we have figure number, whoops, sorry, pen. Figure number one, um, which gave us two dots. Figure number two, which gave us three dots, which was one plus one, two plus one, each time we're adding figure number plus one, which gives us our new number of dots. Four dots plus one gives us, or sorry, figure number four plus one gives us five dots. Figure number five plus one gives us six dots. So the number of dots is one more than the figure number. We can write each number of dots as the sum, as this sum. So it's figure number plus one is really our uh, rule. Figure number plus one. We can use a letter such as F to represent figure number. When we use a letter, it's called a variable, um, and it stands for any one of these numbers in this column, any number in this column, any figure number, and figure number plus one would be the expression. So figure number one plus one is two, figure number two plus one is three. So this expression will work for any of the figure numbers. So it's another way of writing your rule, except with an expression, you always have to have a variable and a variable is a letter that replaces um, the number. When you are choosing your variable letter, it often has something to do with the name of what you're talking about. Often you'll see it will be N. There are a few letters to avoid. Do not use X, it looks like times. Do not use 5 or S, it looks like 5. T looks like plus. Um, any letter that looks like a number or a math symbol is a poor choice. Um, L looks like one if it's a lowercase l. If you make it a capital L, it's great. So when you are choosing your variable, just be aware of what letter it is that you are using and make sure it does not look like um, a sign or a number. Now, to check this expression, uh, to see if it's correct. So for example, for figure number six, so that would be F plus one, and we're saying now figure six, so six plus one, that would have to be seven dots. Let's check our drawing to see if in fact that is true. And yes, you can see there are in fact seven dots here. So this verifies or proves that yes, this is in fact correct. Now, just to review an expression, represents a number, ooh, pen, shucks, a number with a variable and operations. So F was our variable, plus is our operation, and one is our number. That makes this an expression. A variable, again, remember, is a letter that stands for the number that you don't know. So for example, F figure number, we don't necessarily know what figure we're talking about, plus one, so F is the variable. Again, remember with a variable, you wanna watch which letter you choose, so make sure it does not look like a math sign or a number. We can use a variable to write a pattern rule. So if we look at this pattern, seven, eight, nine, 10, and so on, each term is, or each number is one more than the one before. That's how we could write that rule, right? It would be plus one each time, and we would just replace this number with a letter because it could be seven plus one, it could be eight plus one, it could be nine plus one, and so on. So we could make that number plus one, possibly. All right, now here they've taken that same pattern, they've made it into a table, and it still works. 
Um, here they're talking about the position. So the first number was 7, the second number was 8, the third number was 9, the fourth number was 10, and so on. So this is how they've created their table. Term position related to the value of what it is. So then our rule, we'd have to look, well, 1 to 7, what could we do? And we can see here they've decided to go with plus 6. So 1 plus 6, 2 plus 6, 3, again, our first, the, the third number, plus 6, 4 for the fourth number, plus 6. So that would be our rule, the plus 6 part. And we need a letter to replace the number because, as you can see, that number is changing each time. Um, N for number is what I'm going to choose and what they've chosen as well. So N plus 6 as the expression of this rule. Again, to check the expression, we can just try one. Replace n with 5. 5 plus 6 is supposed to equal 11, and in fact, it does. So perfect. Our expression is correct. All right, now it's your turn to practice. Uh, you are going to copy the table, copy and complete. So make the table, write an expression, and then check it using your table. Press pause and try that now. All right, let's try. So figure number one is figure number one. How many squares? One, two, three, four, five, six, so six. Figure number two has one more square, so it's seven. Figure number three has one more square, so it's eight. Figure number four has one more square, so it's nine. And figure five has one more square, so it's 10. So what we've noticed, what we're doing each time to the output is adding one each time. But remember, we want our rule to go from figure number to number of squares. So what would our rule be then? What did we do to get from one to six, two to seven, and so on? So we could go one plus six, um, or sorry, one plus five, two plus five, three plus five, oops, sorry, equals eight. And we can see that, yes, that is our rule. So our plus five is the rule part. The expression is the number that we put in here because that's the part that is changing. So it could be number plus five as our expression for this rule. To check it, well, let's put a number in there and see. Um, five as our number plus five is to be 10. And if we look at our uh, table, yes, in fact it is. So we've checked and it is correct. So this would be our expression of this rule. All right, now you get to go and do some concept practice. Page 15, numbers 1, 3, 4, and 6. Remember, you're using expressions, so there has to be a letter. There has to be an operation. Remember, an operation is times, divide, plus, minus, any of those. A letter, an operation, and there has to be numbers in your expression. Um, and it has to, of course, express the pattern rule. So it has to tell the pattern rule. Remember, as you're working, if you have any questions, that you please ask.